so can you see me yes there we go Wolves are pretty much sealed Premier League survival uh, after beating Crystal Palace 2-0 a goal in the very first minute and a goal in the very dying minute of the game yeah not, not one you'll watch back not a game you'll watch back admittedly but a crucial three points 37 points now I think us and Palace are both safe um, and yeah, I mean, Lopetegui has done a fantastic job and that is just uh, secured it. Not a classic, but we'll take it. Let's go back to the beginning, the starting lineup. Bueno come in. Um, who, was, who else was dropped? Yeah, Huang come in uh, on the left. And Neves obviously come back in for Gomez, which I didn't mind it. I think everyone will take it. As long as we played 4-4-2 again, I don't think anyone would have minded. Nunes was on the left, though, instead of on the right, which is interesting. Huang was on the right midfield, so it worked okay. I thought we started really well, obviously. A bit of luck with the goals at Anderson for Palace, who need it, barring in, own goal. Um, we'll take it. And when that goal went in that early, I thought there was going to be a lot of goals in this game, but it went pretty flat, to be honest. It did, it went pretty flat. Palace did try and um, pressure us a bit. I remember Saar pulled off quite a good save first half, and I'll give Saar a lot of stick last video, obviously, so fair play to him for doing that. Um, there was a really bizarre incident right down in front of me where um, the, ball, the corner flag kept the ball in. Like that was probably one of the most interesting things that happened in the first half. It was a bit of a, a, bit of a non-event really after that. So getting to half-time 1-0 and then you just want to try and win the game. And it got a bit nervy at times because Palace obviously, all they could do really was try and equalise and they kept trying and trying. We were, weren't really creating much. They were trying to break us down, but it felt quite safe, but it got a bit nervy and then... We made a few substitutions, obviously Neto. I think it was Neto who ended up um, going down right at the end for the penalty. But just before that, I just want to say as well, a bit of a side note, I thought the referee was so bad today. Like There was one where Sar got the ball, took out of his hands, which should have been a booking, didn't give it. He was booking our players for fun. But yeah, really poor performance from the referee. But how many times have we said that this season? They really need to up the standards because it's so poor. But yeah... So as I say, Neto goes down, and then uh, Ruben Neves, absolute quality scenes at the end, slots his penalty in, bottom right hand corner, typical Neves penalty, he's done that so many times, and yeah, great atmosphere at the end, which to be honest, the atmosphere throughout the game wasn't the best, the South Bank tried their best to get the atmosphere going, but yeah, but quality, absolute brilliant, we'll take it, survival is ours, and there we go, Brighton away is it Saturday? So we can go into that relaxing a bit. Brighton are a great team. Just <laughs> saying, time for Lopetegui to go. Won't say that. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you're new. Um, again, as well, I just want to say Diego Costa, absolutely immense up front. Um, probably could be a shout for man of the match, but there's probably a few contenders. Lamina was immense. Dawson was quality at the back. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you're new. Please comment down below your thoughts. And uh, yeah, come on, Wolves. Another year in the Premier League is ours. Not mathematically, but it pretty much is. Get it.